Well, no, hello. I didn't expect to be making this video, did I? So soon after my um, surgery, it never happened. Um, I put it on my Facebook, so this video really is for the people that are not on Facebook, and who can blame you. Um, what a palaver it was, really. I had to do all the, uh, you know, the work prior to uh, going into hospital, and that involves injecting yourself, taking uh, tablets, um, lots of other medication, um, some stuff to clear the bowels out, which isn't very pleasant, but that's what it is. You do all that for two days, you then go on to a kind of a specialised diet and then you end up starving yourself and then um, you can drink your Slurpee for a little while and then you can only drink your Slurpee with uh, a tiny, tiny drop of milk uh, then you can drink your Slurpee black and then you can't drink your Slurpee at all I told you so it's not very glorious is it but anyway so two days of all that malarkey and feeling not very well really with all that stuff swimming in the system but it has to happen um, uh, extremely nervous uh, really really high anxiety um, I'll talk about that another time um, because it's going to be a more much more in-depth video and I think it might help some people so cut a long story short for the thank you to my lovely friend uh, Funky Flunky who stayed um, looking after Bodhi, looking after the bungalow and looking after me uh, between Funky Flunky and Diazepam I managed to get to the hospital much to my amazement a uh, few issues when I was in hospital really with uh, talking to various different people consultants, consultants, surgeons and stuff like that that weren't very pleasant but whatever um, and to cut a long story short, I had everything done in hospital, my height, my weight, they measured me up for, uh, for stockings, they took bloods, they did everything. And then a guy came and said, um, unfortunately there isn't a bed, because I need a high dependency bed, there is no high dependency bed. So um, that was it, I had to come home. And the anxiety was really high, so in a way I was relieved, although very disappointed because I'd gone that far and done all that work prior and everything else. So I just thought I'd make this short video really, uh, just let you know what's happening because many, many people have asked and, and that's lovely of you. Um, but yeah, that's the situation. So where does that leave me? Well. Apparently by law, they have to offer me an appointment within 28 days. Uh, there's nothing to say that they can't cancel again. So, you know, who knows? Apparently they're gonna send my medication uh, to where I live rather than me have to go to the hospital and pick it up. And then they can give us a call and say, okay, it's your time to start taking all that medication again. And, uh, you know, hello you. Um, yeah, once that's in place, then, you know, we just, we start all over again and uh, hopefully get to the hospital and hopefully <laughs> end up having the operation. But, you know, yeah, disappointed, upset, um, but oddly a little bit relieved. Um, really, that's it. So it's left me now, this is a couple of days after, um, I'm full of that medication that I took, uh, which is now leaving my system, so that's good. It just made me very, very tired, a little tiny bit unwell, but nothing much. Yeah, it's a waiting game. But apart from that, we're, we're all okay, there's no problem. Okay, thank you for listening. We'll be back another day. If you can get outside, get outside. It's beautiful, absolutely glorious. I love it here. Okay, take care then. And be well. Salah.